Well, there's a new not-for-profit starting up in the city of Utica with a mission of providing footwear to financially disadvantaged students. News Channel 2's Kirk Tupai tells us about the organization and their mission. City Cleats is a newly formed 501c3 nonprofit organization with the mission of providing high quality cleats to athletes who truly need them. Connor Kof is the president of the organization and is taking his mission to the airways. You're interested in donating? He talked about how the not for profit came into existence on the Talk of the Town radio program. I was at a Proctor basketball game and one of their uh, players was running down the court and his, and his toe was sticking out the side of his shoe. So right there I was like, this, this isn't right, right? These, why, why can't we get proper footwear on our athletes? Their goal is to raise between twenty-five dollars to $30,000 to outfit five teams, Proctor Football here in Utica, and four teams in the Syracuse and Buffalo school districts. The districts have to qualify with 4,000 or more students and be at least 75% economically disadvantaged. The response from out-of-towners was unexpected. When I talked to the Cor Corcoran coach, he gave me a call back and his response was kind of like, this doesn't happen to us, uh, what's the catch? And uh, it kind of highlights the issue, right? We're, we're just offering to like, give his kids cleats, it's it, good footwear. So uh, that hit home a little bit. Proctor football players who can't afford new cleats typically go to a box of hand-me-downs. The players just finding out they'll be getting brand new cleats are also in a little disbelief. It feels good because I see some players that need cleats and some, play some players that don't play football because of their cleats. So it's good that he's doing it for the students. I knew he was a good guy. I didn't know he's like this though. You know, makes me proud of my coach. If you think you might be interested in helping the cause and getting some shoes on these kids' feet, we'll provide a number of ways you can donate on our website, wktv.com. In Uticom, Kirk Tupai reporting for News Channel 2.